What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I'd talk to you guys about my skincare routine. Um, specifically, it's my anti-aging and anti-acne routine that I do. So up until last year, I suffered with really bad acne, um, primarily on my forehead. My face used to look like Mars. <laughs> I don't think I have any pictures to show you guys because I was way too insecure to take pictures around that time. I guess you can say I suffered with adult acne for the longest time and I never thought I'd get rid of it. So today I just wanna kinda go over the things I stopped doing. I kinda had to just learn this on my own and what I started to do. So now that my face is clear, I don't really have to wear foundation. So I'm not wearing any today just so you can get a you know, an idea. For a lot of people, their diet affects their skin, um, and it does for me too. Sugar definitely makes me break out, but I know that wasn't a factor in clearing up my skin because my diet really hasn't changed for a few years. So I know that that wasn't the reason my skin started clearing up. It was definitely what I was doing to my face and what I was putting on my face. So if you're interested, then keep on watching. I know everybody's skin is different, so by all means, I'm no dermatologist, but um, I'm just gonna go over what works for me, and hopefully somebody else it can help as well. I'm gonna first start with what I stopped doing to my face. I stopped washing my face twice a day. Um, I used to wash it morning and night. I only washed it at night just to clean off all the makeup. It is better to not wash your face as much because you need those natural oils to be in your skin so you don't dry it out. Uh, a lot of people overwash their face and I was doing that. I was overwashing my face and over exfoliating my face because I thought that was the healthy thing to do for it, but um, it just kind of irritated it and I started getting a bunch of breakouts and my skin was just really, really pissed at me. So I basically just washed my face at night and I started using Bior. I love this stuff. I got recommended this from somebody I worked with and I will not go back to any other face wash ever. It is oil free and it is a blemish fighting acne cleanser. So it feels like ice on your face and I love it. It feels like I'm on the top of Mount Everest and it's just like a overall cooling sensation and I just feel that potential acne just evaporating. So as I said before, the second thing I stopped doing was exfoliating which I used to do it literally almost every day or every other day. Really, you should be exfoliating maybe once a week. So that's what I do, and I don't use harsh scrubs. Um, if I don't use like natural DIY scrubs, I am using my, I don't have a brand for this. I got it at TJ Maxx. They're like, you know, the spa brushes, I guess. I don't know the name at all. Super gentle bristles on your face. You don't want that jaggedy, like cheap scrub that you get at Walmart. That's just gonna like, it's just gonna sandpaper your face right off. <laughs> the third thing that I stopped doing was using astringent. I originally started using it because even after you wash your face, every time I would use astringent, I would see like black stuff coming off my face and I'd be like, yes. I didn't realize it at the time, but it was really drying out my skin and causing more breakouts. So I just completely turned my routine around and stopped with the astringent altogether and it seems to work pretty well. So I'm gonna show you guys the serums that I use that have literally changed my life. The first thing, on my serum list is my retinol vitamin A. This baby is so good for anti-aging. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, in about a month I'm gonna be 29 years old. I don't wanna talk about it at all, I really don't, but uh, last year's when I, I had an epiphany thinking, why am I not starting now for anti-aging? So this bad boy I got on eBay, you can really get it anywhere, Amazon. I use this on my face every night as soon as I'm done cleansing my face. Then the second thing I end up putting on is the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. This I got on eBay as well. This is excellent for anti-acne and anti-aging. Another thing I use on my face is the anti-aging vitamin C. Um, this one's with rosehip oil, so it smells really good. It smells like citrus. Um, it smells like deliciousness, okay? Promotes firm and glowing skin. It also helps heal if you have any existing blemishes or anything like that. This oil 
will not clog your pores. It's meant for your skin. Um, it does absolutely make a difference on my skin. I do see a difference. I notice my skin is glowing and looks more vibrant. So this one I put on during the day and then these two I put on at night. The next thing I started using, guys, you probably already saw it in my summer essentials, is my CeraVe facial moisturizer. I'm becoming more conscious of the sun and how it's just not good for your skin. You wanna prevent wrinkles, this is what you wanna do. You wanna start using sunscreen right now, guys. I feel like with anti-aging products, it's like a retirement fund. The sooner you begin it, the better. Another thing I use on my skin, you guys have probably seen is my St. Ives. I use this at night only, right after I put my serums on my face and it is meant to promote collagen. And for those of you that don't know, collagen is what makes your skin firm and just like younger and more youthful looking. So I love this stuff. It does not make me break out like a lot of weird moisturizers do and it smells like a garden. It visibly reduces appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and it's got safflower oil in it. So it's the best moisturizer I've ever tried. The last thing I'm gonna show you is my derma roller. I cannot leave this guy out. This guy has changed my life. This is what it looks like. So these are basically tiny, tiny needles that you roll onto your face. I know that sounds crazy and scary, but it really isn't. It's actually very beneficial for your face. It signals um, the collagen to rush to your face. And trust me when I say, I truly believe this has made me look more youthful. I use this about once a week. If you are interested in purchasing this, always, always, always go with 100% titanium because if you do not, I don't know what's gonna happen, but all I, all I know is I did my research and you need to go with 100% titanium or else I, you don't, I don't know and I don't wanna find out what might happen to your face. How I use it is I basically just wash my face, make sure it's super clean. I put on my hyaluronic acid serum. Once you roll over your face, it's actually pushing the serum more into your face. I also use it on my lips and I love it. That's my favorite spot to use them because I kid you not, after using this, the day after, my lips, they're plumper. It actually kind of feels good. It like stimulates, it stimulates your face is the best way to say it. This baby will not make you bleed. I've never bled from this. Um, however, I do want to point out that um, I do have the 0.5 millimeter. There are different sizes, but you'd never want to go past the 0.5 millimeter because now you're entering dermatologist realm. And I don't know about you, but I'm definitely not a dermatologist, nor will I ever be. So I don't want to mess with something I am not qualified to use. So guys, that's really it. That's what I use. I use my derma roller. I use my facial serums. I use sunscreen, healthy moisturizer, lightweight exfoliator, and my anti-acne. Fresh as hell. Be your facial cleanser. And I'm acne free. Of course I have occasional breakouts, but they're so nothing. Like they, they're they practically non-existent. My face did a 180 since just a year ago. Everything combined is doing something right for me. So I can't pinpoint one thing over the other saying one thing's better than the other. I don't know. I'm just going based off of what like what has significantly helped my skin. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below if you have any questions at all. I will try my best to answer them. If you have anything that happens to work for you, um, please, I'd love to hear some suggestions. I hope this video has helped you guys in some way. And uh, thank you for watching. Bye. Because if you do not, then... <laughs>